Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today let us understand about where in tribology. Firstly, we should know what is wear. Wear is a progressive loss of material from the surface of a solid brought about by mechanical causes that is by contact and relative motion of a solid, fluid or a gaseous counterbody. In the figure 1, we can see that two bodies which are in contact with each other and are in motion in opposite direction due to the roughness of the surface the material is being disintegrated on the surface this phenomena is one of the example of wear where processes can be classified into different types according to the type of tribological load and the materials involved example sliding wear fretting wear abrasive wear and material cavitation etc now let us understand what are the wear mechanisms as i have already mentioned that the wear can be caused by different mechanisms or the various influencing factors either physically or chemically we have four important wear mechanisms and they are surface fatigue abrasion adhesion and tribochemical reaction in this figure 2 Basic wear mechanisms are viewed microscopically. Here, Fn refers to normal force on the apparent contact surface. F of F is the frictional force between the base body and the counter body. F of N as the normal force on the asperity contact. Delta V is the relative velocity and HV is the Wicker's hardness. Here we can see that in case of surface fatigue, due to the factors like surface cracks, delamination, etc., the wear is caused. In case of abrasion, it is due to the micro-cutting, brittle fracture, etc. In adhesion, it is due to the micro-contact between the bodies and in case of thermochemical reactions, it is due to the various changes in the external factors in the contact of the surface. In the next slides, we will discuss each mechanism one by one and understand the causes for wear. The first one is the surface fatigue. In case of surface fatigue, it manifests itself through cracking, crack growth and the detachment of the wear particles which is brought about by alternating loads in near to the surface zones of the base body and the counter body. Here, in this figure, we can see that heavy load roller is in contact with the metal surface and due to the increase in the load, the cracks are generated and there are formation of the microchips on the counterpart. The second one is the abrasive wear. In this case, it is due to the repeated plowing and the fracture of the base body caused by the counter body's hard aspirates or by art particles in the interfacial medium leading to the wear. As we can see that in the figure, the sharp edged surface is peeling the counter surface leading to the formation of metallic chips. And the third one is adhesive wear. In adhesion, after the protective surface layers have been broken through atomic bonds from above all on the plastically deformed microcontacts between the base body and the counter body. If the strength of the adhesive bonds is greater than that of the softer frictional partner, the material eventually detaches from the deformed surface on the softer friction partner and then it is transferred to the harder one. The transferred material can either remain on the harder friction partner or it can detach or even return. And this process is clearly shown in the figure. The fourth and the last one is the wear due to tribochemical interactions. In tribochemical reactions, friction induced activation of loaded near surface zones causes the elements of the base body and counter body to react chemically with the elements of the lubricant or ambient medium. Compared with the base body and counter body, the reaction products exhibit changed properties and after reaching a certain thickness can be subjected to brittle chipping or even exhibit properties reducing the friction or wear. In the figure, 
the different ribochemical processes are shown such as triboelectric, tribochemical, tribocatalytic, tribopressurizing, etc. In the upcoming video lectures, we will be learning these mechanisms in depth and clearly understand them. Thank you for watching this video and to get more updates on topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages such as Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and also do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribonet and also for the more details visit our website on www.tribonet.org.